Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on Magnificent. Hey, you know what? <laughs> only if you have double C's is today magnificent because the weather is brutal. And the only reason I'm here is I have a change in plans. I told you I was on my way up to Penn State, and the weather got in the way. Armageddon is supposed to be taking over uh, later tonight, all into tomorrow. So I couldn't be out in Pennsylvania. Please, I'd be there for the next three days. Okay? So I'm changing everything. I'm going to go Wednesday and Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday, I will be off the grid. Okay? And possibly tomorrow. If the storm is as violent as it's supposed to be, I may not have um, power tomorrow. Okay? So I may not talk to you again until Friday. Okay? I'll miss you. <laughs> anyway, you saw the thumbnail. The thumbnail. The first step. Guys... I got me very metaphysical today. I'm reading Tolstoy. I'll get to that in a second. Now, I have played two hours today in the happy zone. Let's see what we got. Okay, we'll get into the first step. After two hours of playing, double C's as big as a house, just locked in. That's why there's no marks. They're locked in. Right into an Arban Etude, down with single pedal C. I don't love single pedals, you know that, but they're there if you want them because you're so relaxed. Guys, the goods, the goods. Anyway, I was reading once again. I've read this several times. It's called The Ethics of Diet by Howard Williams. Okay. Now, uh, unless you're into diet, per se, you're not going to like it, but, so don't get it. But the introduction was written by Leo Tolstoy, and it was called The First Step, and it is brilliant. You can get just the introduction on, online. You don't have to buy the book. The book's cool, too. A little deep, but anyway. Um, but check it out. Now, he talked about... In order to lead a good moral life, you have to start with self-control. The first, this is Buddhist, Buddha, I mean, all the great religions. He was very, very religious. And quite frankly, a bit of a nut, but brilliant. That, that writing is, now as you know, I make, I'm making a living as an author now. This guy, uh, the control of the written word is, is beyond belief. Anyway. Um, anyway. The first step in self-control, okay? I'm going to map out for the next few days several steps that you need, the absolutely 100% essential steps that you need to have true power play. Now, I told you before, nobody, nobody cannot do what I just did. That is absolutely 100% within everybody's reach. It's a physical thing. It is not a talent thing. You add the talent to that, and you got John Faddis. I mean, that, that's what we're talking about. You got Vizzuti. You have Maurice. Okay? But those chops are available, and more, are available to anyone. Now, I just did two straight hours, all in the happy zone, and that's part of the self-control that we're going to be talking about. Okay? That's down the road. Okay? And all of these steps are going to be in the book of the month coming out. I'm going to try very hard to get it out this weekend. I'm going to work nonstop to get it out this weekend, so you have it by Christmas, my Christmas present to you, and I told you, if you buy it, I will give you a two for one. You uh, give me $10 for the December book, and uh, just tell me on the, in the email, pick another one. It could be a meditation book, it can be a um, total body book, it can be a cleanse book, whatever you want, just pick another one, you got it free. Okay, my, my Christmas gift to you. Anyway, 
the number one thing, you have to have the first step, and he's talking about total self-control and fasting and uh, control over gluttony and all this. Remember, it's geared towards diet, okay? But I'll tell you what, and that's down the road. That's down the road. I will get to that because all of this requires self-control, what I'm about to say. But number one, guys, there's no self-control involved. You must have a callet mouthpiece. You have to. Now, look, if you... If you don't want to get what I'm getting, if you don't want to buy what I'm selling, fine. I don't care. Go to another website. I don't care. Okay? But if this is what you want, don't waste your time doing it on another mouthpiece. It is not going to work. Jerry spent 40 years, 50 years, 60 years of his life trying to design the definitive mouthpiece, and he did it. Okay? Now, and that's the 1SB. And that is the one I recommend. I have other ones here. If it you know, works better for you, that's fine. But guys, don't even try to do this if you don't have a callet mouthpiece. It is not going to work. Okay? Guys, that is the first step to great jobs, to have a callet mouthpiece, specifically a 1SB. Now, I have monster, monster players that are not playing the 1SB. They're playing the 1SS, they're playing the 1SC, they're playing the number three. Fine. Fine. But guys, if you are playing correctly, anybody can play the 1SB. Anybody can play the 1SB. And the absolutely through the roof extraordinary results are easier, and that's the whole point, are easier on the 1SB. You guys, that's the whole point. It has to be easy. How many times have I been saying that's the last four years? It has to be easy. And we're coming up on my anniversary. It was, I believe, the first week of January that I started, I think. So this is four years. It's a lot of videos. Anyway, I digress. So, um, yes, the 1SB mouthpiece. Now, ever since Jerry passed away, I am selling the mouthpieces. Okay? And it sounds like I'm trying to make a few bucks. And guys... Okay, I'm not kind of trying to screw with you. Four years ago, now I've only been doing this since uh, Jerry passed away, which is in March. Okay, March. Okay, so I've been do only doing this several months. There's three plus years before that on these videos that I've told you, I don't make a dime off this, get a callet mouthpiece. Th this is nothing new. I'm not saying this to make money. Will I take the money? Sure. I have a daughter in college. Absolutely, I'll take the money. But guys, I'm not saying this to try to make you money. I see so much garbage out there. So much garbage that is just trying to part you with your money and has nothing, nothing to do with trumpet and what, what is good for the student. This mouth, These mouthpieces, and specifically the 1SB, are the goods. It has to be a callet. I will not teach anybody that does not have a callet. And the pessimist will say, well, if the system is so good, then it should be good on any mouthpiece. I'm a God-loving man. I don't say BS. Guys, that's dumb. Don't say that. It's dumb. These mouthpieces are the best ever designed. Case closed. And five years from now, ten years from now, it's going to be the definitive mouthpiece played by everyone. We are already getting into the, the symphony big time. Classical commercial players, commercial players, lead players love it. There's no reason in the world you can't play that one mouthpiece on both. And that's it. Anyway, the first step. The first step is the mouthpiece. Okay? We have more. The next one's going to be buy a book. You have to have the proper technique. The next one is play in the happy zone. Two hours in the happy zone. Guys, that's the discipline. That is the discipline. You must play correctly. We'll get to that to, um, hopefully tomorrow, if not Friday. I've got a thing I want to do on Bruce Lee. Power equals force times velocity. Guys, it's right there in physics what we have to do. And we'll get to that. I've said a zillion times, guys, the best trumpet player in the world. Didn't even play trumpet. The best trumpet player in the world was Bruce Lee. Nobody, Maynard, Harry, nobody could compress air like this guy. And that, that's down the road. And that will be in the uh, book of the month. Okay? 
Anyway, that's that. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. If I do not see you tomorrow, it's because we lost power. And I will see you again on Friday when I get back from Pennsylvania. All right? Okay, guys. Enjoy. Love you all.